Wellington, Maori, Te Wanganui Atera, Te Fani Ata, is the capital and second most populous urban area of New Zealand, with 418,500 residents. It is located at the southwestern tip of the North Island, between Cook Strait and the Remutica Range. Wellington is the major population centre of the southern North Island, and is the administrative centre of the Wellington region, which also includes the Kapiti Coast and Wairarapa. Its latitude is 41 degrees 17 s, making it the world's southernmost capital of a sovereign state. Wellington features a temperate maritime climate, and is the world's windiest city by average wind speed. The Wellington metropolitan area comprises four local authorities Wellington City, on the peninsula between Cook Strait and Wellington Harbour, contains the central business district and about half the population. Porirua on Porirua Harbour to the north is notable for its large Maori and Pacific Island communities, Lower Hutt and Upper Hutt. Hutt are largely suburban areas to the northeast, together known as the Hutt Valley. As the nation's capital since 1865, the New Zealand government and parliament, Supreme Court and most of the public service are based in the city. Architectural sites include the government building. One of the largest wooden buildings in the world. As well as the iconic beehive. Wellington is also home to several of the largest and oldest cultural institutions in the nation such the National Archives, the National Library, the Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongariwa, and numerous theatres. It plays host to many artistic and cultural organisations, including the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra and Royal New Zealand Ballet. One of the world's most livable cities, the 2016 Mercer Quality of Living Survey ranked Wellington 12th in the world, and was first in the world for both livability and non pollution by Deutsche Bank. From 2017 18, Wellington's economy is primarily service based, with an emphasis on finance, business services, and government. It is the centre of New Zealand's film and special effects industries, and increasingly a hub for information technology and innovation, with two public research universities. Wellington is one of New Zealand's chief seaports and serves both domestic and international shipping. The city is served by Wellington International Airport, the third busiest airport in the country. Wellington's transport network includes train and bus lines which reach as far as the Kapiti Coast and Wairarapa, and ferries connect the city to the South Island. Topic. Toponymy Wellington takes its name from Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of Wellington and victor of the Battle of Waterloo 1815. His title comes from the town of Wellington in the English county of Somerset. It was named in November 1840 by the original settlers of the New Zealand Company on the suggestion of the directors of the same, in recognition of the Duke's strong support for the Company's principles of colonisation and his strenuous and successful defence against its enemies of the measure for colonising South Australia. One of the founders of the settlement, Edward Jerningham Wakefield, reported that the settlers took up the views of the directors with great cordiality and the new name was at once adopted." In the Maori language, Wellington has three names. Te Fonga Nui Atera refers to Wellington Harbour and means, "...the Great Harbour of Terra." Ponick is a transliteration of Portnick, short for Port Nicholson, the city's central marae. The community supporting it and its Kappa Haka have the pseudo tribal name of Nati Ponick, Te Apoko o Te Ika a Maui, meaning, the head of the fish of Maui, often shortened to Te Apoko o Te Ika, a traditional name for the southernmost part of the North Island, deriving from the legend of the fishing up of the island by the demi god Maui. 
In New Zealand Sign Language, the name is signed by raising the index, middle and ring fingers of one hand, palm forward, to form a W and shaking it slightly from side to side twice, the city's location close to the mouth of the narrow Cook Strait leaves it vulnerable to strong gales, leading to the nickname of Windy Wellington. Topic History Topic <inaudible> Maori Settlement Legends recount that Coupe discovered and explored the region in about the tenth century. Before European settlement, the area in which the city of Wellington would eventually be founded was seasonally inhabited by indigenous Maori. The earliest date with hard evidence for human activity in New Zealand is about 1280. A later Maori explorer, Watonga, named the harbour Te Wanganui a Terra after his son Terra. Te Wanganui a Terra remains one of the Te Reo Māori names for the harbour and surrounding land today. Before the 1820s, most of the inhabitants of the Wellington region were Watonga's descendants. <laughs> Early European settlement Situated near the geographic centre of the country, Wellington was well placed for trade. In 1839 it was chosen as the first major planned settlement for British immigrants coming to New Zealand. The settlement was named in honour of Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of Wellington and victor of the Battle of Waterloo. European settlement began with the arrival of an advance party of the New Zealand Company on the ship Tory on 20 September 1839, followed by 150 settlers on the Aurora on the 22nd of January 1840. Food processing plants, engineering industries, vehicle assembly and oil refineries were located in the Ne which caused the main industrial growth in Hutt Valley. The settlers constructed their first homes at Petwan which they called Britannia for a time on the flat area at the mouth of the Hutt River. When that proved swampy and flood-prone they transplanted the plans, which had been drawn without regard for the hilly terrain. <laughs> National capital In 1865, Wellington became the capital city in place of Auckland, which William Hobson had made the capital in 1841. The New Zealand Parliament had first met in Wellington on 7 July 1862, on a temporary basis. In November 1863, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Alfred Domit, placed a resolution before Parliament in Auckland that it has become necessary that the seat of government should be transferred to some suitable locality in Cook Strait region. There had been some concerns that the more populous South Island, where the goldfields were located, would choose to form a separate colony in the British Empire. Several commissioners invited from Australia, chosen for their neutral status, declared that the city was a suitable location because of its central location in New Zealand and Good Harbour. Wellington's status as capital is a result of constitutional convention rather than statute. Wellington is New Zealand's political centre, housing the nation's major government institutions. The New Zealand Parliament relocated to the new capital city, having spent the first ten years of its existence in Auckland. A session of Parliament officially met in the capital for the first time on 26 July 1865. At that time, the population of Wellington was just 4,900. The government buildings were constructed at Lambton Quay in 1876. The site housed the original government departments in New Zealand. 
The public service rapidly expanded beyond the capacity of the building, with the first department leaving shortly after it was opened. By 1975, only the education department remained, and by 1990, the building was empty. The capital city is also the location of the highest court, the Supreme Court of New Zealand, and the historic former High Court building, opened 1881, has been enlarged and restored for its use. The Governor General's residence, Government House, the current building completed in 1910, is situated in Newtown, opposite the Basin Reserve. Premier House built in 1843 for Wellington's first mayor, George Hunter, the official residence of the Prime Minister, is in Thorndon on Tinnacory Road. Over six months in 1939 and 1940 Wellington hosted the New Zealand Centennial Exhibition, celebrating a century since the singing of the Treaty of Waitangi. Held on 55 acres of land at Rongatai it featured three exhibition courts, Grand Art Deco-style edifices and a hugely popular three-acre amusement park. Wellington attracted more than 2.5 million visitors at a time when New Zealand's population was 1.6 million. Topic. Geography. Wellington is at the southwestern tip of the North Island on Cook Strait, separating the North and South Islands. On a clear day the snow-capped Kaikoura Ranges are visible to the south across the strait. To the north stretch the golden beaches of the Kapiti Coast. On the east the Remutica Range divides Wellington from the broad plains of the Wairarapa, a wine region of national notability. With a latitude of 41 degrees 17 south, Wellington is the southernmost capital city in the world. It is also the most remote capital city, the farthest away from any other capital. It is more densely populated than most other cities in New Zealand due to the restricted amount of land that is available between its harbour and the surrounding hills. It has very few open areas in which to expand, and this has brought about the development of the suburban towns. Because of its location in the Roaring Forties and its exposure to the winds blowing through Cook Strait, Wellington is the world's windiest city, with an average wind speed of 27 km per hour, 17 miles per hour. The urban area stretches across the areas administered by the city councils of Wellington, Lower Hutt, Upper Hutt and Porirua. The suburb of Porirua lies on Porirua Harbour to the north. Lower Hutt and Upper Hutt, collectively referred to as the Hutt Valley, are suburban areas to the northeast of Wellington City. Wellington's scenic natural harbour and green hillsides adorned with tiered suburbs of colonial villas are popular with tourists. The Central Business District CBD, is close to Lambton Harbour, an arm of Wellington Harbour, which lies along an active geological fault, clearly evident on its straight western shore. The land to the west of this rises abruptly, meaning that many suburbs sit high above the center of the city. There is a network of bush walks and reserves maintained by the Wellington City Council and local volunteers. These include Atari Wilton's Bush, dedicated to the protection and propagation of native plants. The Wellington region has 500 square kilometers, 190 square miles of regional parks and forests. In the east is the Miramar Peninsula, connected to the rest of the city by a low-lying isthmus at Rongatai, the site of Wellington International Airport. The narrow entrance to the harbour is to the east of the Miramar Peninsula, and contains the dangerous shallows of Barrett Reef, where many ships have been wrecked, notably the inter-island ferry TEV Wahini in 1968. The harbour has three islands, Matiu, Sums Island, Makaro, Ward Island and Mokopuna Island. Only Matiu, Sums Island is large enough for habitation. 
It has been used as a quarantine station for people and animals, and was an internment camp during World War I and World War II. It is a conservation island, providing refuge for endangered species, much like Kapiti Island farther up the coast. There is access during daylight hours by the Dominion Post Ferry. Wellington is primarily surrounded by water, but some of the nearby locations are listed below. Topic. Relief Steep landforms shape and constrain much of Wellington City. Notable hills in and around Wellington include Mount Victoria 196 metres Mount Vic is a popular walk for tourists and Wellingtonians alike, as from the summit one can see most of Wellington. There are also numerous mountain bike and walking tracks on the hill. Mount Albert 178 metres Mount Cook Mount Alfred west of Evans Bay 122 metres Mount Kaukau 445 metres Mount Crawford Brooklyn Hill 299 meters Wrights Hill Makara Hill Te Ahamerangi Tinakori Hill Topic Climate Averaging 2,055 hours of sunshine per year, the climate of Wellington is temperate marine, Köppen, CFB, generally moderate all year round, and rarely sees temperatures above 25 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit or below 4 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The hottest recorded temperature in the city is 31.1 degrees Celsius, 88 degrees Fahrenheit, while minus 1.9 degrees Celsius, 29 degrees Fahrenheit is the coldest. The city is notorious for its southerly blasts in winter, which may make the temperature feel much colder. It is generally very windy all year round with high rainfall. Average annual rainfall is 1250 mm, 49 in June and July being the wettest months. Frosts are quite common in the hill suburbs and the Hutt Valley between May and September. Snow is very rare at low altitudes, although snow fell on the city and many other parts of the Wellington region during separate events in July and August 2011. On the 29th of January 2019, the suburb of Kelburn reached 30.3 degrees Celsius, the highest temperature since records began in 1927. Topic. Earthquakes Wellington suffered serious damage in a series of earthquakes in 1848 and from another earthquake in 1855. The 1855 Wairarapa earthquake occurred on the Wairarapa Fault to the north and east of Wellington. It was probably the most powerful earthquake in recorded New Zealand history, with an estimated magnitude of at least 8.2 on the moment magnitude scale. It caused vertical movements of 2 to 3 metres over a large area, including raising land out of the harbour and turning it into a tidal swamp. Much of this land was subsequently reclaimed and is now part of the central business district. For this reason, the street named Lambton Quay is 100 to 200 meters (325 to 650 feet) from the harbor. Plaques set into the footpath mark the shoreline in 1840, indicating the extent of reclamation. The 1942 Wairarapa earthquakes caused considerable damage in Wellington. The area has high seismic activity even by New Zealand standards, with a major fault, the Wellington Fault running through the centre of the city and several others nearby. Several hundred minor faults lines have been identified within the urban area. 
Inhabitants, particularly in high-rise buildings, typically notice several earthquakes every year. For many years after the 1855 earthquake, the majority of buildings were made entirely from wood. The 1996 restored government buildings near Parliament as the largest wooden building in the Southern Hemisphere. While masonry and structural steel have subsequently been used in building construction, especially for office buildings, timber framing remains the primary structural component of almost all residential construction. Residents place their confidence in good building regulations, which became more stringent in the 20th century. Since the Canterbury earthquakes of 2010 and 2011, earthquake readiness has become even more of an issue, with buildings declared by Wellington City Council to be earthquake-prone, and the costs of meeting new standards. Every five years a year-long slow quake occurs beneath Wellington, stretching from Coppity to the Marlborough Sounds. It was first measured in 2003, and reappeared in 2008 and 2013. It releases as much energy as a magnitude 7 quake, but as it happens slowly, there is no damage. During July and August 2013, there were many earthquakes, mostly in Cook Strait near Seddon. The sequence started at 5.09 p.m. on Sunday 21 July 2013 when the magnitude 6.5 set an earthquake hit the city, but no tsunami report was confirmed nor any major damage. At 2.31 p.m. on Friday 16 August 2013 the Lake Grasmere earthquake struck, this time magnitude 6.6, .6, but again no major damage occurred, though many buildings were evacuated. On Monday 20 January 2014 at 3.52 p.m. a rolling 6.2 magnitude earthquake struck the lower North Island 15 km east of Aketahuna and was felt in Welling. Wellington, but little damage was reported initially, except at Wellington Airport where one of the two giant eagle sculptures commemorating the Hobbit became detached from the ceiling, at two minutes after midnight on the morning of Monday 14 November 2016, the 7.8 magnitude Kaikoura earthquake which was centered between Culverdon and Kaikoura in the South Island caused most of Wellington's CBD, Victoria University of of Wellington, and the Wellington Suburban Rail Network to be largely closed for the day to allow inspections. The earthquake caused damage to a considerable number of buildings. Subsequently, a number of recent buildings were demolished rather than being rebuilt, often a decision made by the insurer, and 65% of the damage caused by the earthquake was in Wellington. Two of the buildings demolished were about 11 years old, the seven-story NZDF headquarters and statistics house at Centerport on the waterfront. The docks were closed for several weeks after the earthquake. Topic. Demographics The four cities comprising Greater Wellington have a total population of 422,700 June 2018, with the urban area containing 99.0% of that population. The remaining areas are largely mountainous and sparsely farmed or parkland and are outside the urban area boundary. More than most cities, life is dominated by its central business district CBD. Approximately 62,000 people work in the CBD, only 4,000 fewer than work in Auckland's CBD, despite that city having four times the population. Counts from the 2013 census gave totals by area, gender, and age. Wellington City had the largest population of the four cities with 190,956 people, followed by Lower Hutt, Porirua and Upper Hutt. Women outnumbered men in all four areas. Source Statistics New Zealand 2013 Census
Topic: <laughs> Quality of living. Wellington ranks 12th in the world for quality of living, according to a 2014 study by consulting company Mercer. Of cities in the Asia Pacific region, Wellington ranked third behind Auckland and Sydney, as of 2014. Wellington has become more affordable in terms of cost of living relative to cities worldwide, with its ranking moving from 93rd more expensive to 139th less expensive in 2009, probably as a result of currency fluctuations during the global economic downturn from March 2008 to March 2009. Foreigners get more bang for their buck in Wellington, which is among the cheapest cities in the world to live. According to a 2009 article, which reported that currency fluctuations make New Zealand cities affordable for multinational firms to do business, New Zealand cities were now more affordable for expatriates and were competitive places for overseas companies to develop business links and send employees. Topic. Culture and identity An increasing number of Wellingtonians profess no religious belief, with the most recent census in 2013 showing 44% in that category. The largest religious group was Christians at 39%. The latter figure represented a significant decline from seven years earlier at the previous census, when over 50% of the population identified as Christian. At the 2013 census, just over 27% of Wellington's population was born overseas. The most common overseas birthplace is the United Kingdom, place of origin of 7.1% of the urban area's population. The next most common countries of origin were Samoa 2.0%, India 1.8%, China 1.7%, Australia 1.6%, the Philippines 1.2%, South Africa 1.1%, Fiji 1.0%, the United States 0.8% and Malaysia 0.6%. Topic. Age distribution Age distributions for the four cities are given see table below. The age structure closely matches the national distribution. The relative lack of older people in Wellington is less marked when Kapiti Coast District is included, nearly 7% of Kapiti Coast residents are over 80. Source, Statistics New Zealand, 2013 Census. Topic architecture Wellington showcases a variety of architectural styles from the past 150 years 19th century wooden cottages, such as the Italianate Catherine Mansfield birthplace in Thorndon, streamlined Art Deco structures such as the old Wellington Free Ambulance Headquarters, the Central Fire Station, Fountain Court Apartments, the City Gallery, and the former Post and Telegraph Building, and the curves and vibrant colors of postmodern architecture in the CBD. The oldest building is the 1858 Colonial Cottage in Mount Cook. The tallest building is the Majestic Center on Willis Street at 116 meters high, the second tallest being the structural expressionist Aeon Center Wellington, at 103 meters. For a full list see, List of Tallest Buildings in Wellington. Futuna Chapel in Karori was the first bicultural building in New Zealand, and is considered one of the most significant New Zealand buildings of the 20th century. Old St. Paul's is an example of 19th-century Gothic Revival architecture adapted to colonial conditions and materials, as is St. Mary of the Angels. Sacred Heart Cathedral is a Palladian Revival Basilica with the portico of a Roman or Greek temple. 
The Museum of Wellington City and C in the Bon Store is in the Second French Empire style, and the Wellington Harbour Board Wharf Office Building is in a late English classical style. There are several restored theatre buildings, the St. James Theatre, the Opera House and the Embassy Theatre. Te Knockout Civic Square is surrounded by the Town Hall and Council offices, the Michael Fowler Center, the Wellington Central Library, Capital E, home of the National Theatre for Children, the City to Sea Bridge, and the City Gallery. As it is the capital city, there are many notable government buildings. The executive wing of New Zealand Parliament Buildings, on the corner of Lambton Quay and Molesworth Street, was constructed between 1969 and 1981 and is commonly referred to as the Beehive. Across the road is the largest wooden building in the Southern Hemisphere, part of the old government buildings which now houses part of Victoria University of Wellington's law faculty. A modernist building housing the Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongariwa lies on the waterfront, on Cable Street. It is strengthened using base isolation, essentially seating the entire building on supports made from lead, steel and rubber that slow down the effect of an earthquake. Other notable buildings include Wellington Town Hall, Wellington Railway Station, Dominion Museum, now Massey University, Aon Center, Wellington, Westpac Stadium, and Wellington Airport at Rongatai. Leading architects include Frederick Thatcher, Frederick de Jersey Clear, W. Gray Young, Bill Allington, Ian Athfield, Roger Walker and Pinenberg and Collins. Wellington contains many iconic sculptures and structures, such as the Bucket Fountain in Cuba Street and Invisible City by Anton Parsons on Lambton Quay. Kinetic sculptures have been commissioned, such as the Zephyrometer. This 26-metre orange spike built for movement by artist Phil Price has been described as tall, soaring and elegantly simple, which reflects the swaying of the yacht masts in the Evans Bay Marina behind it, and moves like the needle on the dial of a nautical instrument, measuring the speed of the sea or wind or vessel. Topic. Housing and real estate Wellington experienced a real estate boom in the early 2000s and the effects of the international property bust at the start of 2007. In 2005, the market was described as robust. By 2008, property values had declined by about 9.3% over a 12 month period, according to one estimate. More expensive properties declined more steeply, sometimes by as much as 20%. From 2004 to early 2007, rental yields were eroded and positive cash flow property investments disappeared as house values climbed faster than rents. Then that trend reversed and yields slowly began improving. According to two The New Zealand Herald reporters writing in May 2009, in the middle of 2009 house prices had dropped, interest rates were low, and buy-to-let property investment was again looking attractive, particularly in the Lambton precinct, according to these two reporters. A Wellington City Council survey conducted in March 2009 found the typical central city apartment dweller was a New Zealand native aged 24 to 35 with a professional job in the downtown area, with household income higher than surrounding areas. Three quarters walked to work or university, 13% travelled by car, 6% by bus, 2% bicycled although 31% own bicycles, and did not travel very far since 73% worked or studied in the central city. The large majority did not have children in their apartments, 39% were couples without children, 32% were single-person households, 15% were groups of people flatting together. 
Most owned their apartment, 42% rented of renters, 16% paid $351 to $450 per week, 13% paid less and 15% paid more, only 3% paid more than $651 per week. The report continued. The four most important reasons for living in an apartment were given as lifestyle and city living 23%, close to work 20%, close to shops and cafes 11%, and low maintenance 11%. City noise and noise from neighbors were the main turnoffs for apartment dwellers 27%, followed by a lack of outdoor space 17%, living close to neighbors 9%, an apartment size and a lack of storage space 8%. Households are primarily one family, making up 66.9% of households, followed by single person households. There were fewer multiperson households and even fewer households containing two or more families. These counts are from the 2013 census for the Wellington region, which includes the surrounding area in addition to the four cities. In June 2018, Quotable Value reported the average house price for Wellington Metro was $639,000, ranging from $492,000 in Upper Hutt to $869,000 in the western suburbs of Wellington City. Topic. Economy Wellington Harbour ranks as one of New Zealand's chief seaports and serves both domestic and international shipping. The port handles approximately 10.5 million tonnes of cargo on an annual basis, importing petroleum products, motor vehicles, minerals and exporting meats, wood products, dairy products, wool, and fruit. Many cruise ships also use the port. The government sector has long been a mainstay of the economy, which has typically risen and fallen with it. Traditionally, its central location meant it was the location of many head offices of various sectors, particularly finance, technology and heavy industry, many of which have since relocated to Auckland following economic deregulation and privatization. In recent years, tourism, arts and culture, film, and ICT have played a bigger role in the economy. Wellington's median income is well above the average in New Zealand, and the highest of all New Zealand cities. It has a much higher proportion of people with tertiary qualifications than the national average. Major companies with their headquarters in Wellington include at the 2013 census, the largest employment industries for Wellington residents were professional, scientific and technical services 25,836 people, public administration and safety 24,336 people, health care and social assistance 17,446 people, education and training 16,550 people and retail trade 16,203 people. In addition, Wellington is an important centre of the New Zealand film and theatre industry, and second to Auckland in terms of numbers of screen industry businesses. Tourism Tourism is a major contributor to the city's economy, injecting approximately 1.3 billion New Zealand dollars into the region annually and accounting for 9% of total FTE employment. The city is consistently named as New Zealanders' favourite destination in the quarterly flybys Colmar Brunton Mood of the Traveller Survey and it was ranked fourth in Lonely Planet Best in Travel 2011's Top 10 Cities to Visit in 2011. 
New Zealanders make up the largest visitor market, with 3.6 million visits each year. New Zealand visitors spend on average 2.4 million New Zealand dollars a day. There are approximately 540,000 international visitors each year, who spend 3.7 million nights and 436 million New Zealand dollars. The largest international visitor market is Australia, with over 210,000 visitors spending approximately 334 million New Zealand dollars annually. It has been argued that the construction of the Te Papa Museum helped transform Wellington into a tourist destination. Wellington is marketed as the coolest little capital in the world by Positively Wellington Tourism, an award-winning regional tourism organization set up as a council-controlled organization by Wellington City Council in 1997. The organization's council funding comes through the downtown levy commercial rate. In the decade to 2010, the city saw growth of over 60% in commercial guest nights. It has been promoted through a variety of campaigns and taglines, starting with the iconic Absolutely Positively Wellington advertisements. The long-term domestic marketing strategy was a finalist in the 2011 CAANZ Media Awards. Popular tourist attractions include Wellington Museum, Wellington Zoo, Zealandia and Wellington Cable Car. Cruise tourism is experiencing a major boom in line with nationwide development. The 2010–11 season saw 125,000 passengers and crew visit on 60 liners. There were 80 vessels booked for visits in the 2011–12 season, estimated to inject more than 31 million New Zealand dollars into the economy and representing a 74% increase in the space of two years. Wellington is a popular conference tourism destination due to its compact nature, cultural attractions, award-winning restaurants and access to government agencies. In the year ending March 2011, there were 6,495 conference events involving nearly 800,000 delegate days. This injected approximately 100 million New Zealand dollars into the economy. Topic: Arts and Culture. Topic. Museums and cultural institutions Wellington is home to many cultural institutions, including Te Papa the Museum of New Zealand, the National Library of New Zealand, Archives New Zealand, Wellington Museum formerly the Wellington Museum of City and Sea, the Catherine Mansfield House and Garden formerly Catherine Mansfield Birthplace, Colonial Cottage, the Wellington Cable Car Museum, the Reserve Bank Museum, Old St Paul's, and the Wellington City Gallery. Festivals Wellington is home to many high-profile events and cultural celebrations, including the Biennial New Zealand International Arts Festival, Biennial Wellington Jazz Festival, Biennial Capital E National Arts Festival for children and major events such as Brancard Estate World of Wearable Art, Teta Wellington, Cuba Street Carnival, Visa Wellington on a Plate, New Zealand Fringe Festival, New Zealand International Comedy Festival, also hosted in Auckland, Summer City, the Wellington Folk Festival in Wainuiomata, New Zealand Affordable Art Show, the New Zealand Sevens Weekend and Parade, Out in the Square, Vodafone Homegrown, the Couch Soup Theatre Festival, Camp Alohum and numerous film festivals. The annual Children's Art Splash Festival brings together hundreds of students from across the region. The week-long festival includes music and dance performances and the presentation of visual arts. Topic: 
Film Filmmakers Sir Peter Jackson, Sir Richard Taylor and a growing team of creative professionals have turned the eastern suburb of Miramar into a film-making, post-production and special effects infrastructure center, giving rise to the moniker Wellywood. Jackson's companies include Weta Workshop, Weta Digital, Camperdown Studios, post-production house Park Road Post, and Stone Street Studios near Wellington Airport. Recent films shot partly or wholly in Wellington include The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, King Kong and Avatar. Jackson described Wellington, "...well, it's windy, but it's actually a lovely place, where you're pretty much surrounded by water and the bay. The city itself is quite small, but the surrounding areas are very reminiscent of the hills up in Northern California, like Marin County near San Francisco and the Bay Area climate and some of the architecture. Kind of a cross between that and Hawaii. Sometime Wellington directors Jane Campion and Jeff Murphy have reached the world's screens with their independent spirit. Emerging Kiwi filmmakers, like Robert Sarkis, Taika Waititi, Costa Boats and Jennifer Bush Damek, are extending the Wellington-based lineage and cinematic scope. There are agencies to assist filmmakers with tasks such as securing permits and scouting locations. Wellington has a large number of independent cinemas, including the Embassy, Paramount, Penthouse, The Roxy, and Lighthouse, which participate in film festivals throughout the year. Wellington has one of the country's highest turnouts for the annual New Zealand International Film Festival. Topic. Music The music scene has produced bands such as The Waratahs, The Mockers, The Phoenix Foundation, Shahad, Beast Wars, Fly My Pretties, Rion Sheehan, Birchville Cat Motel, Black Boned Angel, Fat Freddy's Drop, The Black Seeds, Fur Patrol, Flight of the Concords, Conan Moccasin, Rhombus and Module, Weta, Demoniac. The New Zealand School of Music was established in 2005 through a merger of the Conservatory and Theory programs at Massey University and Victoria University of Wellington. New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, Naveen String Quartet and Chamber Music New Zealand are based in Wellington. The city is also home to the Roger Fox Big Band and the internationally renowned Men's A Cappella Chorus Vocal FX. Topic theater and the dramatic arts Wellington is home to Bats Theatre, Circa Theatre, the National Maori Theatre Company Takirua, Witairea Performance Centre, National Dance and Drama School Toy Fukari and the National Theatre for Children at Capital E in Civic Square. St. James's Theatre on Curtinay Place is a popular venue for artistic performances. Wellington is home to groups that perform improvised theatre and improvisational comedy, including Wellington Improvisation Troupe Wit and Improvisers and Youth Group, Joe Improv. Te Wea National Dance and Drama Centre, houses New Zealand's university-level school of dance and drama, Toy Fukari, NZ Drama School and New Zealand School of Dance, and Witairea Performing Arts Centre. These are separate entities that share the building's facilities. Topic. Dance Wellington is the home for the Royal New Zealand Ballet, the New Zealand School of Dance and Contemporary Dance Company Footnote. Topic. Comedy. Many of New Zealand's prominent comedians have either come from Wellington or got their start there, such as Jeanette MacDonald, Lynn of Tawa, Raven Khan, Di Henwood, Ben Hurley, Steve Wrigley, Guy Williams, The Flight of the Concords, and the satirist John Clark, Fred Dagg.
The comedy group Breaking the Fifth Wall operated out of Wellington and regularly did shows around the city, performing a mix of sketch comedy and semi-improvised theatre. In 2012 the group disbanded when some of its members moved to Australia. Wellington is home to groups that perform improvised, theatre and improvisational comedy, including Wellington Improvisation Troupe WIT, the improvisers and youth group Joe Improv. Wellington hosts shows in the annual New Zealand International Comedy Festival. Topic. Visual arts From 1936 to 1992 Wellington was home to the National Art Gallery of New Zealand, when it was amalgamated into Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongariwa. Wellington is home to the New Zealand Academy of Fine Arts and the Arts Foundation of New Zealand. The city's arts centre, Toy Ponic, is a nexus of creative projects, collaborations, and multidisciplinary production. Arts programmes and services manager Eric von Holowatz and a small team based in the Abel Smith Street facility have produced ambitious initiatives such as opening notes, drive-by art, and public art projects. The city is home to experimental arts publication White Fungus. The Learning Connection provides art classes. Other visual art galleries include the City Gallery. Te Nakao Civic Square with the Ferns artwork suspended above. Topic. Cuisine Wellington is characterized by small dining establishments, and its café culture is internationally recognized, being known for its large number of coffeehouses. Restaurants offer cuisines including from Europe, Asia and Polynesia, for dishes that have a distinctly New Zealand style, there are lamb, pork and servina venison, salmon, crayfish lobster, bluff oysters, paua abalone, mussels, scallops, pipas and tuatua both New Zealand shellfish, kumara sweet potato, kiwifruit and tamarillo, and pavlova, the national dessert. Topic. Sport Wellington is the home to Hurricanes, super rugby team based in Wellington Wellington Lions, ITM Cup rugby team Wellington Phoenix FC, football soccer club playing in the Australasian A-League, the only fully professional football club in New Zealand Team Wellington, in the semi-professional New Zealand Football Championship. Central Pulse, netball team representing the Lower North Island in the ANZ Championship, primarily based in Wellington. Wellington Firebirds and Wellington Blaze, men's and women's cricket teams. Wellington Saints, basketball team in the National Basketball League sporting events include Six pool games and two quarterfinal games at the 2011 Rugby World Cup. The Wellington Sevens, a round of the IRB Sevens World Series held at the Westpac Stadium over several days every February. The 2011 Taekwondo World Champs. The 2014 World Field, Target Championships. The World Mountain Running Championships in 2005 The Wellington 500th Street Race for Touring Cars, between 1985 and 1996 Government Local The Wellington urban area lies within four territorial authorities, Wellington City, Porirua, Lower Hutt and Upper Hutt. Wellington is also part of the wider Wellington region, administered by the Greater Wellington Region Council. 
The local authorities are responsible for a wide variety of public services, which include management and maintenance of local roads, and land use planning. National Wellington is covered by six general electorates, Hutt South, Mana, Oariu, Rimutica, Rongatai, and Wellington Central. It is also covered by three Maori electorates, Ikaroa Rafiti, Te Tai Hauauru, and Te Tai Tonga. Each electorate returns one member to the New Zealand House of Representatives. All electorates except Hutt South are held by the governing Labour Party. Hutt South is held by the Opposition National Party. In addition, there are a varying number of Wellington-based list MPs, who are elected via party lists. As of September 2018, there are five list MPs in the House who contested Wellington-based electorates at the 2017 election, two from National, two from Green, and one from Labour. The Speaker of the House, Trevor Mallard, is also a Wellington-based list MP having previously held Hutt South. Topic education Wellington offers a variety of college and university programs for tertiary students. Victoria University of Wellington has four campuses and works with a three-trimester system beginning March, July, and November. It enrolled 21,380 students in 2008, of these, 16,609 were full-time students. Of all students, 56% were female and 44% male. While the student body was primarily New Zealanders of European descent, 1,713 were Maori, 1,024 were Pacific students, 2,765 were international students. 5,751 degrees, diplomas and certificates were awarded. The university has 1,930 full time employees. Massey University has a Wellington campus known as the Creative Campus and offers courses in communication and business, engineering and technology, health and well being, and creative arts. Its School of Design was established in 1886 and has research centers for studying public health, sleep, Maori health, small and medium enterprises, disasters, and tertiary teaching excellence. It combined with Victoria University to create the New Zealand School of Music. The University of Otago has a Wellington branch with its Wellington School of Medicine and Health. Witairea New Zealand has large campuses in Porirua, Wellington and Kapiti, the Wellington Institute of Technology and New Zealand's National Drama School, Toi Fukari. For further information, see List of Universities in New Zealand. The Wellington area has numerous primary and secondary schools. Transport. Wellington is served by State Highway 1 in the west and State Highway 2 in the east, meeting at the Nauranga Interchange north of the city centre, where Shish 1 runs through the city to the airport. Road access into the capital is constrained by the mountainous terrain. Between Wellington and the Kapiti Coast, Shish 1 travels along the Centennial Highway, a narrow section of road, and between Wellington and Wairarapa, Shish 2 transverses the Rimutika Ranges on a similar narrow winding road. Wellington has two motorways, both part of Shish 1, the Johnsonville Porirua Motorway and the Wellington Urban Motorway, which in combination with a small non motorway section in the Nauranga Gorge connect Porirua with Wellington City. Bus transport in Wellington is supplied by several different operators under the banner of Metlink. Buses serve almost every part of Wellington City, with most of them running along the Golden Mile, from Wellington Railway Station to Curtinay Place. 
As of 2017 the buses run on diesel, but nine routes used trolleybuses. The trolleybus network was the last public system of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere, until it was shut down in October 2017. Wellington lies at the southern end of the North Island Main Trunk Railway NIMT, and the Wairarapa Line, converging on Wellington Railway Station at the northern end of central Wellington. Two long-distance services leave from Wellington, the Capital Connection, for commuters from Palmerston North, and the Northern Explorer to Auckland. Four electrified suburban lines radiate from Wellington Railway Station to the outer suburbs to the north of Wellington, the Johnsonville Line through the hillside suburbs north of central Wellington, the Kapiti Line along the NIMT to Waikanae on the Kapiti Coast via Porirua and Paraparaumu, the Melling Line to Lower Hutt via Petwan, and the Hutt Valley Line along the Wairarapa Line via Waterloo and Taita to Upper Hutt. A diesel-hauled carriage service, the Wairarapa Connection, connects several times daily to Masterton in the Wairarapa via the 8.8-kilometer-long Remutica Tunnel. Combined, these five services carry 11.64 million passengers per year. Wellington is the North Island port for Cook Strait ferries to Picton in the South Island, provided by state-owned Interislander and private Bluebridge. Local ferries connect Wellington city centre with Eastbourne, Seatown and Petwan. Wellington International Airport is 6 kilometres southeast of the city centre. It is serviced by flights from across New Zealand, Australia, Singapore and Fiji. Flights to other international destinations require a transfer at another airport, as larger aircraft cannot use Wellington's short 2,081 metre or 6,827 foot runway, which has become an issue in recent years in regards to the Wellington region's economic performance. Topic. Infrastructure Topic. Electric power Wellington's first public electricity supply was established in 1904, alongside the introduction of electric trams, and was originally supplied at 105 volts 80 hertz. The conversion to the now standard 234 hundredths of a volt 50 hertz began in 1925, the same year the city was connected to the Mongahau hydroelectric scheme. Between 1924 and 1968, the city's supply was supplemented by a coal-fired power station at Evans Bay. Today, Wellington is supplied from nine transpower substations, however the design of the transmission system means that the city is ultimately fed by only two transpower substations, Haywards and Wilton. Wellington Electricity owns and operates the local distribution network. The city is home to two large wind farms, West Wind and Mill Creek, which combined contribute up to 213 megawatts of electricity to the city and the national grid. Hayward's substation in Lower Hutt is the site of the HVDC Inter Islands North Island Converter Station. The HVDC link connects the North and South Island grids together and allows surplus South Island hydroelectricity to be transmitted the North Island's electricity demand. While Wellington experiences regular strong winds, and only 63% of Wellington Electricity's network is underground, the city has a very reliable power supply. In the year to March 2018, Wellington Electricity disclosed the average customer spent just 55 minutes without power due to unplanned outages. Natural gas 
Wellington and the Hutt Valley were two of the original nine towns and cities in New Zealand to be supplied with natural gas when the Kapuni gas field entered production in 1970, and a 260 kilometre long high-pressure pipeline from the field in Taranaki to the city was completed. The high-pressure transmission pipelines supplying Wellington are now owned and operated by First Gas, with PowerCo owning and operating the medium and low-pressure distribution pipelines within the urban area. Water Wellington's first pipe water supply came from a spring in 1867. Greater Wellington Regional Council now supplies Lower Hutt, Porirua, Upper Hutt and Wellington with up to 220 million litres a day. The water comes from Wainuiomata River, since 1884, Hutt River, 1914, Orangarongo River, 1926, and the Lower Hutt Aquifer. Topic. Twin cities Wellington is twinned with the following cities Beijing, People's Republic of China Sakai, Japan Sydney, Australia Xiamen, People's Republic of China Canberra, Australia Gallery Topic See also List of people from Wellington